In this short video, we're going to show you how to get set up with Rad Studio XZ5 for doing Android development. I'm here in my Windows IDE, and I have a Nexus 7 tablet connected through USB connector. For the device itself, we have to do a few things. I've got stay awake so it stays on while it's connected. I've got USB debugging turned on. And those are the two important parts that allow us to connect to a device under Windows and use the IDE to do development and debugging. So let's take a look at what you need to do to connect and start development for Android mobile devices with Rad Studio XE5. As part of the Rad Studio XE5 install, we also install the platform SDKs for Android and the NDK. So over here is the SDK, including platform tools like the debugger and so on. And that's installed under Users, Public, Public Documents, Rad Studio 12, Platform SDKs. Back in the IDE, if we look at Tools, Options, SDK Manager, we've got our Android SDK pre-installed for us with the SDK path, the NDK path, and so on. So we can say File New. Build a FireMonkey mobile application. We'll build a, a blank application. We can use the form designer to choose the look of the kind of application we want to build. Lots of different Android devices here. I have a Nexus 7, so I've got that set as the default. If you want to choose a default device for the design look, you can go under Form Designer, Device Manager, and you just right mouse click and set default for whatever device you have that you want as a starting point. But of course you can have your applications run on multiple Android devices. Since I have a Nexus 7 tablet, I've chosen that as my default when I start a new project. Let's just add a button and let's change its, its text to click me, double click, bring up the event handler and said button one dot text. Then we can look under target platform, Android, and under target, we'll see our device. And also, we've pre-built a connection to the Android emulator that is installed as part of the SDK tools. We'll activate the device and hit run, which will do a build, a link, and a deploy to our device. Builds the APK. And we can go and see the device. We've got this little screen viewer utility that shows me I've got my button on my Nexus 7 tablet, I can click the button and the event handler fires and the answer is 42. So now we know that our configuration built into the install for Rad Studio XZ5 is set up for me to do Android development on my tablet or Android phone or whatever the device for Android might be. If you already have Android SDK and NDK installed, you can go under Tools Options Go to the SDK Manager, hit the Add button, choose the platform that you're targeting, Android in this case. You can choose an SDK version. And now it'll ask you to find the SDK path. And again, that one that I had before is under Users, Public, Public Documents, Rad Studio 12, Platform SDK, and we also need to give it the NDK path. Notice the little exclamation point to remind us. And we can go down and find the NDK in the same way. Users, public document, Red Studio 12, platform, NDK. It finds already where our Java installation path is. And we can choose a, an NDK API version. It finds that for us. Then it fills in all the other settings. And then we're done and we can give it a name and then select it. And that's how easy it is to get set up to do Android development on Windows with Rad Studio XE5. It's time now to explore the other videos that are available in the Start Here page that'll show you more about what you can do with XE5 and Android development. Have a great time.